Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of you for joining us today because we are having a awesome webinar for you guys today. Um, I know that you guys all lead very busy lives, so it means a lot to us here that you guys are joining us for this. So yes, I would like to start off by thanking you guys. Uh, my name is Scott Holbrooks. I am one of the learning and development trainers for Transfer Express. Today, our webinar revolves around the many different innovative, creative, and fun ways to package your products to sell to people. We work in an industry where everybody has two roles. There's one role where you are the customer, and there's the role where you play the company. So uh, oftentimes, you guys are the ones playing the company, selling out the product. But every time, every day, you guys are also playing a customer. Whether you're buying your transfers from Transfer Express or you are buying milk at the store, you are likely going to be the customer at some point throughout your day. So today's webinar is all about packaging. When it comes to packaging, it is no surprise that packaging matters. There are innovative ways to package your product that offer them a really cool way to see their product. Um, packaging drives purchasing decisions. 64% of consumers will sometimes buy a product off of a shelf without prior knowledge of it. I know that I myself have bought products such as Skull Candy headphones uh, based solely off of the packaging of the product. Packaging drives the purchase more so than TV ads, online reviews, recommendations from friends, or anything really. Um, the recommendations are about 31%, television is about 27%, but packaging covers about 37% of all of it. So one of the first things that we're gonna talk about is the importance of packaging. And the importance of your packaging is really a big deal when it comes to when your customers are looking at your product. We've all seen the Christmas Story movie, which fun fact is based right out of here in Cleveland. Uh, when he gets his big leg lamp, he gets that big box and it says Fragile on it. There could be anything in there. It could be a bowling alley. How are you gonna fit a bowling alley in? You know, you get the idea. So some of the packaging ideas, the first one we're gonna talk about is adding a custom sticker to your bag. That custom sticker can be your logo, it can be anything from the player's name or whatever you're packaging to your logo, their logo, whatever it is you're packaging for your customer. Adding a custom sticker is a great way to uh, advertise for yourself. So this is also a marketing opportunity. You can also individually pack your player names like this. You can individually pack your jerseys, your hats, your pants, whatever, for each player, which is a really cool way of uh, receiving your product. Um, you can also add your custom flyer into the package as well. Uh, as many of you know, you can also get your custom stickers right here at Transfer Express. Another really cool way to do it is coffee cups or really any cup. I mean, you don't have to necessarily go with coffee cups. As you see in our example here, there's tea cups as well. Um, but it's a really cool way to roll your product up and stuff it in, put a lid on it, and sell it to your customer like that. It's a really neat way to display your product as well. Another really big thing, and this is something that all of our uh, shirts that we buy on a general basis at, say, Kmart or Walmart or even at the mall, a lot of them have those hang tags, and that kind of gives you that professional feel. So when a lot of us have a smaller business that we're running, it's really nice to give it that real professional feel to the product. So adding a hang tag to your product is a great way to give it that professionality that you're looking for. Another way you could do it is you could can it in a mason jar. Uh, mason jars are huge in the South. I mean, my father from is from the South himself, so I know that Mason jars are a really cool thing and they kind of scream Southern to people. So putting it in a Mason jar and putting your packaging label or your tape or whatever right over the lid is a really fun way to package it as well. You could also put it in a food tin, like the foil pans from the dollar store. 
it's another fun way to market your product as as something that's not necessarily going to be a t-shirt but when they open it up it's a t-shirt you you will see here that a lot of our uh a lot of the packaging ideas revolve around food i don't know if that's just me but i like food. here's another one food it's a takeout um, you could put it in a takeout box there are a lot of different shapes sizes and textures a lot of different takeout boxes in the world and then when you put your own company logo on it you can as you see here they have a cardboard wrapper that they put around it but you can throw a sticker on it or however you guys want to do it another thing is you could get a printed box with your logo on it your own designs as you see here they put a little cute pocket in there with filled with stuff pictures and whatnot and on the other side you have your obey holidays from obey you have your big santa t-shirt or whatever it is putting everything in a box is also a really nice way that you can customize your stuff and sell it to people another way is to brown bag it um, brown bagging it is very widely known throughout the world and it's a really cool way to uh, have monetarily efficient um, packaging for your product you could also wrap it, wrap it up like a burrito i'm sure most of us have had chipotle um, this reminds me of a chipotle burrito even though theirs are in tin foil um, yeah you could put it on a printed wrapper and wrap it up like a burrito another thing that you could do is the cardboard sleeve now this is a bit more of a generic one but when you customize the cardboard sleeve and you can put your logo on it you can put your company stamp on it you can put their logo on it or you could even decorate it for uh, any specific theme you guys are going with there is the ever popular popsicle idea where you could fold your t-shirt up like a popsicle and throw it on a stick another thing that you could do is you could do the roll as you see here uh, they've rolled their t-shirt up they've wrapped it in something and then they've tied what looks like twine around it which is a really cool way of doing it um, it's another way that is uh, cheap and customizable for you so you could wrap it in anything you wanted from paper to cardboard to uh, packaging another thing that you could do is the custom folder idea and as you see in this one they have a folder that opens up and they have straps that hold the t-shirt down and um, yeah these are a sale item this year this they're big for sales around this time um, you can add your own sticker to the front or you can even buy customized packaging that has your stuff printed on it uh, it's great for school sales as it stands out from the crowd so people are going to notice this people are going to notice all of these realistically another really cool one that i think is really neat is the hanger idea packaging it in a box hanger then you can hang this in your storefront it's a great way of displaying it as well as sending it out to the customer the box folds up real nice and make sure it goes right inside the mailing tube this is another uh nice nice one it's a very generic one you know you get your nice little tube and you can stick one of our slappers <laughs> slap one of our stickers on it have your company name your company logo whatever now this one is a great opportunity for an upsell i know that i have myself have bought uh, socks in water bottles before so this is a great way to get an upsell because then you're selling the water bottle and your t-shirt combo together it's great for football teams baseball teams basketball teams whatever kind of team sales that you're working with this is a really great way to get that upsell another really fun one is packaging it in one of the chinese boxes like the chinese food containers um, i wouldn't use one that you got from your actual chinese food because that's going to have food in it but you get the idea um, 
it's really cool way to package it up, stuff your shirt in there, and sell it that way. Now, these are some ideas for uh, specifically displaying at your place of business. And whether you have a big storefront on the strip or you're tucked away in a nice little corner of a shopping plaza, it's really nice to be able to display your t-shirts. So uh, this is a really cool way of doing a custom display. So what you would need for this is you would need your white pelon or uh, cutaway backing from allstitch.net. Um, it's a really cool way to take your extra transfers and you're going to press them on these Pellon sheets and then you can put them in a nice little picture frame and hang them on the wall. It's a really great way to show them what you can offer and it's a great way of uh, yeah, displaying your product. Another really great way to do it is you could do it in columns like you see here. You know you have your columns of t-shirts so that way the customer can just grab one out and buy it that way and they have the actual physical example of what it is on the bottom hanging. These columns are very popular in uh, storefronts. Another thing that you could do is on-site selection like you see here. Um, dressing up mannequins is another great way of displaying your product because then your customers get to see what it looks like on the human figure without having to purchase it. Uh, we've all bought, bought shirts that we put on and they don't look quite as flattering as we would like them to. So I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about when I say it's nice to see what it's going to look like. And a little tip, and this doesn't work just for this one, it works for all of them. It's easy if you number each of your products so that way your customer can come in and say, you know, hey, I want uh, design one on t-shirt three. I think that would look really nice. Those colors would blend real well together. A really great way of uh, displaying them for your customers. Another display idea that I find intriguing is toddler t-shirts or, or youth extra smalls, you know, um, taking these shirts and pressing your designs on them. You, you know, this example gives seven youth extra small t-shirts, approximately 250 a piece. And then you could take uh, seven sample transfers that we include in our Transfer Express Mini sample pack for free. Um, you could take those and you could press them on the shirt so that way they can get the idea of what they will feel like on an actual t-shirt. Now obviously these, they're not going to try these on because what happens next is they take a grommet tool, they poke, pop, pop a hole in the shirt, they put the grommet on there and then they put the carabiner through it. And that is a really awesome way of displaying your shirt. So now they're not going to actually get to uh, put on the t-shirt, but oh, I'm glad you guys like this. I'm glad you guys like this one. I see that uh, Natalie says she likes this a lot, so I'm glad that you like this idea. I think it's a really neat one, ways that you can uh, display different things, and it doesn't have to be necessarily our samples. That's just a great way for them to get the feeling of it, you know? This one is also a very popular one, and I'm sure that you've all seen this when you go to your local mall. I don't know where everybody's from here in, in Ohio. We have the uh, Great Lakes Mall near us. So um, this one's really popular in malls. They have the uh, cupboards, basically, where they can stuff their shirts, and then next to that, you would display it. I don't know if you guys see on the bottom here, uh, you have the, oh yeah, they do have them in Walmart, Natalie, you're right. Um, they have the crate display style, um, and that's something also that you can buy at Walmart while you're there checking out their ideas. <laughs> um, yeah, you can get the those displays at Walmart, and they're usually shoe racks, but repurposing things is a great way to make your displays really pop in the eye of the consumer. Now this is a picture of our wall at Transfer Express. Um, and this is how we display our core values. Uh, we make t-shirt transfers, right? So our idea was that we can press them onto a t-shirt, hang them on a mannequin, and hang them on our walls. So that's also a great way for you guys to be able to do it. And it's along the lines that you saw with the columns. You know, they could, you could display whichever shirt you have, press it onto a shirt, put it on a mannequin and hang it on the wall and then your customers come in and they say, ooh, I really like that one. I want, you know, that shirt. Oh, well, we got that right here. 
So yeah, this is another really creative way of doing it. This one I thought was exceptionally interesting was the uh, towel rack. This is another idea that is taking something that exists in the world and repurposing it for what you need it to do. So if you take your towel rack and you slide your shirt onto it, it's a really fun way of displaying your t-shirts. And this is not one that you have to go on to a website and do something, find some crazy maker of things and display it that way. This is something that you could go to your local Walmart and pick up some towel racks and display them that way. Another really cool idea is to display it in a ladder. Now this is a really rustic look. I don't know if you guys um, like that rustic look. I don't know what everybody's storefronts look like, but the rustic look is a really cool way of displaying things. Um, so hanging them inside of your ladder is a really neat way of displaying it. So in conclusion, do you guys have any more questions for us? We have a guy behind the scene ready to answer any questions that you guys have. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at info at transferexpress.com. You can read our blog. You can watch the videos and previous webinars at transferexpress.com. Um, you can attend some trade shows. We do about 65 trade shows a year. So that's another great way to get in contact with us in, per in person, which is really cool. Um, and then social media as well is another great way to uh, contact us. So um, our webinar will be available tomorrow afternoon. It will be on the uh, website tomorrow. So hopefully you guys, if anybody missed it, you guys can look forward to that. Um, I'm glad you like the ideas, Lisa. I think that the ideas were really cool. So. Um, thank you guys for joining us today. Like I said, the webinar will be available tomorrow. I hope you guys like these ideas. I hope that you can implement them in your stores. I see uh, Maritza is going to, she says, so I'm, I'm counting on that, Maritza, just so you know. <laughs> um, the carabiner clip idea. So if you have a hole punch laying around, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm, I'm going to butcher this, but I'm going to try anyway. Jenica? Uh, asked if I could explain the carabiner clip idea. So the carabiner clip idea is you take small shirts, it could be youth small or toddler shirts or whatever, um, and you punch a hole in it. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a grommet kit, uh, which is a little steel ring that protects it from fraying further. Um, and you put a grommet in each one, and then you put your carabiner clip through it, and when, when you, you press onto those little shirts, you can display them. Um, we suggest that you guys use our sample pack because that is a great way for your customers to get the feel of our transfers on a t-shirt um, without having to actually make the t-shirt for them. Um, so yeah, that's the carabiner clip idea. I hope I explained that well enough for you. Um, you can get the sample packs. Keith asked, how do we get the sample packs? Uh, you can get them through Transfer Express. If you uh, go online and go to our marketing tab on transferexpress.com. That's one great way to find it. Um, and another way is you could always call us at 1-800-622-2280. Um, and we would be more than happy to help you out with that. Oh, um, there you go. Our friend behind the scenes has put it up there for us. So, um, Patty, to be honest with you, the hanger box, I, I uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, just search online. You can find it. That's what I did. I found a few different people who make them. So, yeah. Uh, if there are no other questions, feel free to call us at any time. Um, we are more than happy to answer. Our business hours are 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, thank you guys for joining us today. And I hope I could have answered all of your questions. If you guys have any questions, like I said, feel free to call us.